Hello friends, welcome. We are asked which is greater, 3.14 to the power of pi or pi to the power of 3.14. Remember, 1 is a rational, 1 is a decimal number raised to power of irrational number and the other one is irrational raised to power a decimal number. So what we're going to do is we can take the log of both sides. So if we take the log of both sides, we're going to have lean of 3.14 is to power pi versus this other one will be lean of pi raised to power 3.14 that's what we're going to have here so what we're going to have here we have pi bracket 3.14 or pi lean 3.14 lean 3.14 3.14 versus 3.14 lean pi that's what we have there so the next thing we are going to do is we can divide both sides by pi times 3.14 so if we divide both sides by pi times 3.14 we're going to have pi lean 3.14 divide by pi times 3.14 then versus we're going to have here 3.14 lean pi then divided by pi times 3.14 that is what we have here so if we have this it now looks like a function let's say a function let uh, f of x equals to lean x divided by x but x is greater than what zero x must be greater than zero the next thing we should be asking ourselves is the function increasing or decreasing if the function is increasing the left hand side will be greater than the right hand side but if the function is decreasing the right hand side is smaller than the left hand side that is what it means now let us find the derivative of f of x if we find the derivative of f of x now we're going to have f derivative of f of x now becomes differentiate this function using quotient rule using quotient rule we are going to have 1 minus lean x raised to power uh, divided by x squared using the quotient rule that is what we are going to have if the numerator is positive then if the numerator is positive then f of x f of x will be positive and the derivative will be positive and we are going to have an increasing function but if the if if it is negative we are going to have a decreasing function so we're now going to have different cases. Now let's look at case one. Case one will be when when x uh, when the numerator is greater than zero. If the numerator is greater than zero, we are going to have one minus ln x greater than zero. So if we have one minus ln x greater than zero, this implies that we are going to have one is greater than ln x because if it causes to have there, then implying that e x is less than e x is less than e now this is a this is positive we can write this as we can write this as zero less than x less than e that is what we can write this as let's look at case two case two our case two will be two will be when the denominator or sorry the numerator is equals to zero we are going to have what are we going to have now in case two when the we are going to have one minus lin x equals to zero this implies that this implies that x is equals to e that is what we're going to have x is equals to e now the next one is let's look at case three case three will be when one minus lin the numerator the lin of x is less than less than zero if it's less than zero it means this implies that we are going to have x is greater than e so x is will be greater than e as at that point in time so that is what we have now so if we have that result what are we going to have now we're going to have in case one is positive and case one is positive and it's increasing case two when we uh this third case when we have uh, x equals to zero it means that we have a maximum value 
So for case two, where x is now greater than zero, we'll have a decreasing function. And this function now, the function might look something like this, something like this. Might looks like this now. But we have something like this. So if we have this, we're going to have here x less than e. We're going to have here x greater than e. Then at as, as at this point, we're going to have maximum, maximum value. Then we are going to have here x equals to e. So this is what we are going to have, the kind of functions we are going to have. Now, if we compare this value, if we compare the value of 3.e, uh, if we compare e now to uh, 3.142, we know the value of e already, that e is equals to, e is equals to 2.718281. It for like that continues like that and pi is equals to 3.14 and this value of pi is greater than e 3.14 is greater than 2.7 um, 718 now since the value is greater than this thing taking natural log of of 3.14 will be greater than e so we're going to have what are we going to have now natural log of 3.14 will be greater than that of e that is to say we are going to have a situation whereby we're going to have we're going to have from what we have here the bigger the value of x the smaller the function that's what we have hence the lean of 3 Point one four divided by three point one four is greater than the lean of 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 pi divided by pi. So if we have that, we can now conclude that three generally can now conclude that three point one four three point one four. raised to power pi is greater than pi raised to power 3.14. Thank you for watching and do remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye-bye.